understand that we have to get you out of this hospital. What happens then? Where are you going to go from there? And how are you going to get there? I don't know. Well, think. I'm thinking, Amy. Boy, that guy tried to kill us. An ambulance. Good thinking. An ambulance? Yes. You've got to get us one. You want me to steal an ambulance? Borrow one, Amy, right now. Lord, why can't we just do something simple? Why can't we just get security and they will get the police Because here? it won't work, okay? Listen to me. I don't have time to go through all the whys and why nots. I have been in this situation before. It's true. I know what to do. She knows what she's doing. She's a pro when it comes to stuff like this. Okay, okay. Just don't let anybody see you. Okay. <sighs> I'm fine. Are you scared? I was, but I'm... I'm okay. It's okay if you are, you know. How about you? Terrified. It's okay. We'll be okay. We'll get through. You're an extraordinary child to know. Where do you think Dad is? Far behind. Don't worry. Well, how how will he, will he know where to find us? He will find us. He just will. Okay. Okay. We're in luck. There's an empty ambulance on the docks, and the tank is full. All right. Ready? Let's move. Okay. Let's move. cargo back here. Yeah, up front, too. I love you, Laura. I love you, too, baby. I'm here, Lucky. I'm here. Are you all right? Yes, we're fine. Lucky? Yeah, oh, great. I'm all of those guys in the dust. Luke, who were they? What's happening? Uh, I'll explain later. What you do now is get yourself somewhere safe and lay low until you hear from me. Well, can you meet us so we can at least all be together? Yes, as soon as I can. Stay away from the house and don't go near Kelly's. I, I know where we can go. But don't say it. Don't say it. Simone said that it was the safest place she knew. I got it. Okay, uh, I'll meet you there. Lucky, take care of your mother. She's a fragile flower. Always. Be careful, Dad. Always, cowboy. I love you. Uh... Mom? What? This is an ambulance. Yes, right. And who knows, we may never get to go in one again. The siren. And the light. What do you say? I say go for it. All right. Right. Hey, Ann, you find me. I want to know what's going on. Yeah, thanks. Hey, boss. What do you got? Nothing good. All hell's breaking loose out there, Sean. <laughs> That's terrific. Just give me the details, then. Well, we just got word Phil Kuzak's law office. We're here this week. This lawyer, did he get out? No, but he's alive. And that's oh. by a hair. Well, what's the situation over at General Hospital? Things have settled down, thank God. Witnesses said two men were after Laura Spencer and her son. And we've got one fatality. Who? Uh, uh Thomas Campbell. Turns out he was Frank Smith's personal bodyguard for six years before Big Frank got sent up the river. 
Any identification on the two they got away? Yeah, we got one of them. We'll turn them over to hospital security. We're booking them right now. All right, so what we've got is one dead bodyguard, one incarcerated thug, and one dead hitman. You mean the guy with Luke at the docks, right? Yeah, right. And what we really got, though, there's a turf war between Garfield and Smith, and somehow the Spencers got caught in the middle of it. Any word from Laura Spencer yet? No, nah, not yet. What about Luke? Right now, I don't know. But from the reports I got, the Incorinthos were right in the thick of things over at General Hospital. That's just peachy. That's just peachy. You know, this is the second time in a week that the mob has tried to take Luke out, and he still thinks he can go it alone, and that is dumb! calling first, but we're sort of in a little bit of trouble. We haven't brought it to your house, though. I just, um, I wondered if we could, uh, maybe stay with you for a while. You know you can come here. Oh, God. This is my son, Lucky. This is Mrs. Ward. How do you do? Oh, I'm doing fine. Thank you, Lucky. And judging from that wise smile of yours, I know you're doing fine, too. I'm getting better. Where's your coat? We had to leave the hospital in a real hurry. Oh, yeah. You, you, you put this around you until you warm up some. And I have some chamomile tea steeping. And how'd you like a cup of that? Yes, please. Laura? Yes. Thank you, Mamie. Oh. Do you, um, you want to tell me about it or do you want to go into the other room on the couch and catch your breath. I... Mom... All right. It's just that... This is the first that I felt safe. Honey, that's what we're here for. 